If this was a piece of fiction, no one would believe that he would be meeting with North Korean arms dealers in Africa. You can walk in here, no problem. Or going to the North Korean embassy in Sweden to pick up secret documents. If something happened, our embassy does know nothing about that. Exactly. But this is no fiction. Everything you are about to see is real and has been going on for more than 10 years. My name is Ulrich Larsen and uh, as in my working life I was a chef. I'm a husband and father to two daughters. I live in the suburbs of Copenhagen. Um, I'm just a regular Danish person. Um, but also aware of I've done something that no one ever had done before. CIA tried for 20 years to do what I did. And I'm a new, uh, say a new branch of... Very close. We are in the true North Korea. This is how North Korea is, trying to sell their weapons out to highest bidder or at least people that could help. I think he really just wants things to happen and he, he wasn't... I, the plan was that I should introduce Alejandro to James and mm -hmm. James to Alejandro. What they really wanted Mr. James to do was to build a factory of weapons in, in Africa so they could, he could produce and sell them on the behalf of North Korea. And in return they will have oil uh, paid by Mr. James through an oil broker from Jordan. Um, that was that is one of the ways they try to to do sanctions busting and try to sell weapons. Is this when this photograph was taken? Yes, that's. So, the can project. you tell me who is who? This is the um, the president of the arms factory. Mm -hmm. This one is the intelligence officer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I... Then they surprised us by taking up the catalog of their weapon systems. And I was like, okay. Like a sort of menu? Yeah. Okay. So this is all on offer? Yeah, this is what we were just handed over at the table. And... Wow, so you've got Scud missiles? Yeah. So you can get five Scud missiles for $14 million. Missile launchers? Yeah. So we're going up to Scud E missiles now. Yeah. Good God, 25 million. 1,350 kilometers range. Us was able to prove that the North Korean regime is doing practically what they think is okay for themselves, as they say themselves. Interpol is not. A, we're not a part of Interpol. We're not a part of nothing. We can do exactly as we want, but they are not helping the people. They are helping themselves, the leaders, the army to stand as a strong nation on paper. Um, no one really knows the nuclear program, but North Korea is, as I said before, a criminal enterprise led by Kim Jong-un. I've seen people struggling on the street to survive. Um, I met kids whose arms were not thicker than my two fingers here because of starvation. But everywhere I go, and if I was able to interact with North Korean people, I was told that They were so happy living there because the leader cared for them. But when you look to the faces of the regular North Korean citizens, you only see fear. It's just poor evil. If I should put anything into that, it should be a war about doing crimes uh, of Nazi Germany to, to the Jews. I, I literally think that's how North Korean people are treated if they're not fit in the system. I hope this movie will be able to open the eyes of the people more to show that still that North Korea had a lot of starvation and struggling. They still are eager to, to sell weapons and produce weapons, which is a complete uh, crazy way of acting. But I hope it would put more focus on the human rights because 25 million people in North Korea are suffering under the Kim regime. I think young people in Korea need to read the history and dig into and 
we may not forget that North Korea is suffering and the young people in Korea, please pay attention to North Korea and human rights violations. It's very important for the future.